we have to recognize that this is going to be more of a marathon than a sprint, much like all of the other pandemics we've had in the past. There have been a lot of conflicting messages. I think it's important to listen to those who really you know, have been keeping on top of the situation. Nationally, Dr. Tony Fauci of NIH has been you know, one of the uh, best scientific communicators. And there are a few people at CDC who are also excellent at this. I think we're getting much better at, at giving clear communications. I think locally, uh, our health departments obviously have been excellent in that respect. So find your trusted sources and, and pay attention mostly to those because there's so much conflicting and often wrong information. So be critical about what you're hearing of Columbia, of course, for our own issues, uh, has an excellent website and keeps updating that. Uh, for issues especially relating to the Columbia community, but also with a number of general issues. And the New York City Health Department is really a, a top drawer health department. It's one of the best in the world. And the New York State Health Department is also really excellent. So the New York City Health Department website is another good place to go for information. But the main point is that this is really an unprecedented attempt to try to really uh, head this off at some stage. So far, China, at great effort, has managed to be at least partly successful. We've seen other successes in Singapore, in, um, in South Korea, after an initial big bump, and um, in Italy, where they still have not been able to get it under control. So we're learning a lot from that, which will be useful in the future, but we're still learning. On the other hand, we know that many of these measures will be helpful. We also know that this pandemic, uh, bad and serious as it is, resembles some of the flu pandemics we've had in the 20th century, not perhaps like 1918, which was the worst natural disaster in history, and not the apocalypse, but we all need to be careful because it is not going to be, it's obviously going to involve a lot of people being sick and some of them, unfortunately, uh, being very sick and, and creating a tremendous uh, demand on our healthcare system, which may make it very hard to meet that demand. So we want everyone to be as careful as possible, get the best information they can, and recognize that this is a constantly evolving situation. So we're continuing to learn from this, but be, be very careful about getting your information from trusted sources and recognizing that we're still learning too, so you may find new recommendations. If they make sense, please take them. Columbia researchers are making a number of hands-on contributions to the fight against this pandemic. So several Columbia researchers are looking at uh, development of new drugs and ways to develop, uh, ways to develop uh, treatments for this infection, new diagnostics, which is very important because we really need to be able to identify who's infected so we can get to them before they can infect others. And that's been a real gap so far. And to answer questions such as, uh, is it safe to touch a box that someone just sent me from China or Italy? Or is it safe to um, touch a box that I just took home from the grocery store? So all of those things are, are being worked on by researchers at Columbia. And of course, others are looking at ways to try to help flatten the curve, to uh, provide information as we are here, to help inform people and ensure people that they can get the best, most reliable information in this rapidly evolving situation. And obviously, epidemiologists keeping on top of the situation, as well as those at the front line of medical care taking care of the, the sick and those who need medical attention.